y'all. I just wanted to talk today about bringing groceries into your house. My husband is literally out hunting for food at, to see what they've got in the grocery store. So what I do is I do two thirds cup of bleach, and in this case it is Clorox. It is the one that reads on it for disinfecting. You do have to read the label, uh, the splashlish, that sort of thing. Um, is not for uh, disinfecting. So anywho, two thirds cup of water to one gallon, and that's an old milk jug. Keep in mind, I'm on a septic tank, which I cannot have bleach going down my drains. So this, of course, is a rag. It is stained, but not dirty, okay? So what I will do is saturate this rag in this bowl. I'll wear Playtex gloves, the good yellow ones. Uh, the plastic ones disintegrate rather quickly at this. So what I've already done with another rag is done exactly that and wiped down this entire island. Because when these groceries come in, they're either going on the floor or a small right side over here with this plexiglass. I'll then be wiping down everything. If it's in a box, it's coming out of the box say something if you buy uh, cereal. Take it out of the box, put that box outside your house. Then you still have that plastic container that it holds it in. Because human hands haven't really touched that, that's part of the produ production process where that little bag goes through the automated line and the products put into it. If you get something like au gratin potatoes, Kraft macaroni and cheese, take them out of that cardboard box and put it outside your house. So my island is completely disinfected. This is my new rag that I will, when he brings the groceries in, saturate, and then I will begin wiping down the products that he brings in. I do it when we get uh, Coca-Colas or Sprite or a large thing like this of orange juice or milk. So I'll show you the process that I use for that. If you're not on a septic tank, then you could certainly just wring this out over your sink. I'll have to take it outside, hose it off, and then hang it on my clothesline to get as much of that bleach out of it as I can to keep the enzymes and things in my septic tank safe so they're munching away at the stuff that goes down it. I only have a countertop tripod because I'm a cooking channel and a canning channel, okay? So I have to squish down so you can actually see me. But I've been gardening, hence the hair. I've got a line out in the water because my tide's still coming in for another hour. I call that screen porch fishing, okay? to where I can look with my binoculars, see my line. If it ain't there, I go out and haul me in a fish. I'm only catching sea trout right now, but a red fish is coming, because I need it. So anywho, this is the beginning of my process for doing this. Uh, we are in the um, avenue, the age range of 63. We pick up a few things for our neighbors. They've paid for them. I'm gonna also wipe them down for them uh, before we bring them back to them. So, I'm just a showing you what a little old mouse does in her yard shirt, because I don't mind if bleach splashes on this. But I will tell you that Bristol, that is God's country. The most breathtaking place I have ever driven to and got to hear him say, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. So here we go. The man should be back in about 25 minutes. We'll see how that goes. And we're going to get to wipey, wipey, wipey. Here is an example of what I'm talking about. My husband's not back with groceries. So I went downstairs and got two of the containers of Coca-Colas in my case. This is my saturated rag. I'm wiping this Coke can down. Then it goes into a plastic container where we store our uh, drinks and the cardboard stays outside um, because it's very hard to do
do something like that. So it's as easy as doing this. Something else I wanted to show you. I make our own bread, right? So I'm almost out of what I had frozen. And I love homemade bread. These are the produce bags that you get. So I accumulate them because I use them for the little container that I keep on my island for my compost pile. I know for a fact <laughs> that this one is over a year old because I keep them back in my pantry area separated by years. So I know this is at least a year old because I don't think you can effectively wipe this down, but if you need to keep whatever you're bringing in the house in this, you can do that same thing. I like this for bread because it breathes, because there's no preservatives in it, like with what you get at the store, and I know that this bag is fine. So I also have those on hand. When I bring bread to someone, I bring it to them in this. Another thing you can do, a neighbor brought me some hamburger buns because I was gonna make hamburger buns when I made bread and she was able to find burger buns. So when this came in, this was untied, wiped down all over it, or you can put this into a different container. But I look at anything that comes in to wipe down with my bleach solution. Can't hurt, and it can at least keep the inside of my home and my kitchen area where I do cook and I do can as clean as possible. So take some effort. Those things super wiped down now because I've already done it, that's the third time. So anyway, it's something to think about and give a try. So when the groceries come in, I will resaturate this and start on the things that are brought in and hopefully I can show you that. There you go, you got it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, now this is interesting. My camera won't go with gloves on, so I had to get Vern to do it. But anyway, let's look at these bags. If you got these, right, you're reusable. They are funk funkified, right? So these are gonna stay on the floor. I've resaturated my rag. We cannot launder those because they are biodegradable, right? And partly cornstarch. So we're saturated, and let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, we got acetaminophen if we get sick. And my favorite decaffeinated teas. So, I'm gonna wipe down this plastic cover. And I'm gonna set it over here. I'm then gonna use a knife and remove that plastic covering. It isn't needed. This, think how many people have touched this? Did somebody pick it up and read the ingredients? Wipe it down. Remember my countertop is already sanitized, disinfected, whatever words you wanna use. Now, we got a little funkamonka. I'm gonna dump these tomatoes in the sink that I have with soapy water in it. Because times are what they are, I'm not saving this anymore for my breads. I had the door open for my husband so that he could just kick it with his foot and come in, and he went straight to the sink to wash his hands. All right. Oh, we got us some Colombian coffee. Again, I'm gonna wipe these down. All this is doing is taking some effort, but it lets me know what is in my pantry, what's sitting in there is safe for me to pick up. 
Oh, calcium, magnesium, zinc. So my husband has the shake a leg, and this helps enormously. Don't be alarmed at the stains. This is a rag, okay? It's not a scarf. It doesn't go in a wall art frame. It's a rag. That's safe to go back in our medicine cabinet. So this is just what I'm doing. Got some bell peppers. These are gonna go in the sink of soapy water. And again, because I have a five year supply of these in different bags, <laughs> these are going in the garbage. And I'm wiping the handle of my pull-out garbage. So this bag is too heavy for words. These are easier to wipe, not the handle, okay, but the body of the bag. That is so heavy. That is why Vern carried it, okay? So just make some effort with what you bring in, and I also know that what's in this bigger bag that I'm bringing to a neighbor, right, I'm gonna have wiped down for them. So anyway, just make an effort with the things you bring in. We are 63 years old, so we're trying to be super careful. And I hope that you're super careful too. And take care and know that this is for a temporary amount of time. It's not forever. It will not be forever. And what was interesting on Wednesday at 7 a.m., people gathered on their porches to say to our Father, so please don't lose your faith. Please don't give up. Please don't feel in deep despair. This is temporary and it's going to pass. And stay as safe as you can with what you're doing, when you're shopping, and with what products you're bringing into your house. Even if they're from a neighbor, wipe it down can't hurt. Have a great one. I'm trying to get a fish. I planted some red potatoes. My tomatoes are coming up, my seedlings in my greenhouse. So I'm keeping myself busy. But it is very stressful. There's no doubt about that. But you have to do some things. Get, give you a little zen moment. Just do the best you can with what you have, whether it's your gloves and you know something else, if you don't have gloves, I certainly wouldn't wear these into a grocery store to make your hands sweat. Um, if you don't have them, you can wear your winter gloves. Yes, you can. And then you come home and you throw them in the washing machine or you wipe them down with your bleach and water rag and then you hang them up on your clothesline if they can't be dried. And the sun can help. So you do have things you can use. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So hang in there. This little old mouse is, if I can do it, you can do it. And prayers for everybody. We're all in this together.